Hi guys, Di here from the Messy Palette. Welcome back to my channel. We are still, well still, we are working on some Green Witch journals. Um, just nature journals, herbal journals. I'm making um, A5-ish sized notebooks in that theme. And I have 10 of them to make, so... Um, I have um, put a few together, um, this one I've already sewn in but um, we will go through and sew one in together. So I have tea stained um, uh, printer paper, coffee and tea stained. I tore it in half, folded it and tore it in half first. Um, so I folded it in half, folded it in half again, tore down the edge, so I tore it with a ruler and then I tore down this edge with a tearing ruler, um, just in different spaces so that when you put the pages together they're, they're staggered and they give you that beautiful earthy <clears throat> look. And then I inked the edges after they were dry just to let them stand out a little bit more. So that's how I did that. I have just um, added a few pages from a digital kit, which I will put the link down below because I can't remember. I've got a couple of digital kits here. Um, so I'll put the link to the, down below to the two or three um, kits that I have used. Um, three hole pamphlet stitch. Um, I don't want any really square edges even this even though it's uh, square-ish it's been torn with a ruler so it has a bit of a frayed edge so um, that is that. I have just added a couple of labels to the end of the signature tie and that's as far as I've got with this one. I'm just about to put a cover plate on. Um, we have made a, a hidden paper clip. So that will just slide over a page somewhere. So that was just a... We'll make another one of these. We'll make all of these things again. So... Um, piece of paper folded in half with a paper clip over top of it then I've glued the fabric onto it and then I've just decorated the fabric with some stamping um, some labels I uh, got a sheet of labels sent to me in a swap a while back sorry I can't remember who it was that sent it to me um, but I've just tore all of the uh, labels off the sheet and inked the edges to give it a rough look um, this is a Sizzik Tim Holtz um, leaf die. Um, I'll link that to below as well. And I can't remember. This was just a cheapy, um, cheapy one. Anyway, so I've made that one. I've made this um, little dangle that will go on the side of something somewhere. It's hanging on a bulb hook piece of broken jewellery that I've pulled apart that I used in a previous um, grungy journal um, a tag from one of the kits um, a piece of tea dyed um, calico which I've used some texture paste grainy texture paste on grunge that up I've stamped it with Tim Holtz field notes stamp this is a piece of linen that I dyed with um, old paints when the tube gets empty I split them open throw them in water until I get a muddy color and I stick fabric in it which is what I did with the this is a this is a baby wipe that I've used as a cleanup cloth um, and there's some grungy cheesecloth and another clean-up cloth and some dyed um, burlap as well which I put in that bath that I said before with all my leftover paint 
never waste a drop of paint so I am um, if it's a tube of paint this is not paint but if it's a tube of paint I cut it off cut it up the side cut the bottom off I open it up and uh, scrape out all the paint with a spatula a little um, silicon spatula gets all of the paint out drop the whole thing in the water rinse it off and just keep adding your leftover paints and then mix it all up you get a nice muddy mess chuck your fabric in and um, you can spray some when it's and when it's drying spray a bit of coffee or something on it whatever it's just leftover bits so that's what that is um, more stamping from the field notes Tim Holtz field notes stamp kit stamp collection uh, this is just a piece of coffee dyed paper which I have stuck some packaging paper on some of the some of the um, dyed hessian um, some I can't remember what sort of fabric this is um, it's like a netting and like a it's like a muslin but it's thicker and stiffer and I just don't know what it's called got a piece at the op shop um, a feather a wooden button which I've sewn on stuck some washi tape over there another wooden button down here um, die cut one of those labels again that I tore out of the page inked it all around that will be a pocket inside the book so they're the three that I have made so far and we will make all of these during these um, next I think there'll be about eight videos because I'll be doing ten uh, ten notebooks and a lot of the stuff I'll repeat through the notebooks and but a lot of most of it will be individual because it's torn paper it's nothing that's um not a lot that's repeated I will be using uh, the Tracy labels I think this was a kit that Tracy Fox and Artie Mays did together and there's a few others a few others um, mixed in there as well so yep yeah, labels 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 there'll be a lot of labels in this um, what else what else what else um so broken jewelry wooden beads um two maybe three digital kits paper tape um scraps this is going to be a very grungy scrappy 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 um book series so we want to put some fabric glue down I will have a piece of this this is a piece of the dyed linen put that down this is out of one of the kits as I said I've got I've printed these kits ages ago so I'm going to have to go back through my Etsy sales to figure out um, which kits come from where so um, let me put this under here One up the top. So I have my five year old granddaughter here with us at the moment. She's taking up a lot of my time. It's very hard to get five minutes to craft but she's watching a movie at the moment so I snuck in here I dare say she'll be calling out to me shortly
think my ink must have been running out when I printed on the back of those ones, but that doesn't matter. I'm not going to see that, so. use the lid of this. Well that's no good. That's a bit dry. Use it or lose it so they say. Make sure I'm in frame. Okay, so I've got some micro beads here, a bit of matte gel medium, and that will dry clear, you won't see that. Just add a little bit of texture. That will dry fairly quickly. Or we could find Tim. Which I seem to have Put away something. There it is. Stop looking. Found it. Oh my goodness. Oh, here comes the granddaughter. Oh, for goodness sake. Shh. I'm videoing, mate. take too long to dry so I'll just put that aside and we'll get on with making some other stuff but that's just given it some texture more layers not a lot of color a lot of grunge in these books so we'll put that aside to dry and we might make some more of these so, fray the edges a little bit. Oh, 
do a bit of stamping. Piece of fabric. Might do, might do a bit of this, I think. These are all odds and sods of broken jewellery, um, fabric, um, upholstery tacks and charms, just odd pieces that haven't really got home. So they just get chucked in this jar, as long as they have a bit of grunge to them. These rings are so hard, very hard to get apart. We have a bead or something. More jewellery bits that um, I get buy a necklace and pull it apart so these are all wooden ones 
These are little actual seed pods, which is pretty cool. Well, it's too thick. Let's see if we can get that on there. it up a bit more Ball pin. Too easy, just scraps. A few scraps of fabric. Um, that's a tea card from a kit and a little tag from one of the kits. Broken jewellery, bulb pin, done. So that's how you make those ones. Now we will make hidden paper clip. These are too easy. Too, too easy. Um, so a piece of fabric so this is just a meter off um, a jelly roll of batik dyed fabrics however big you want it about there we need a piece of paper nope that's tag room full of paper and I've got no paper isn't it just the way hold on a sec Found some. Found some. And want it a little shorter than your outside piece, but not too short that it gets lost. So that looks pretty good. Paper clip. Okay, side want this side, I think. Fabric glue. Stuck. 
So just make sure that that is dry. Huh. We might use one of those on this. I think we will. Right. Sink this up. Side down, Miss Jean. my little hand. Alrighty, we'll stick something on the back. Yeah, a bit big.
So the these die cuts I um, I painted some watercolors and um, sprays onto some watercolor paper just randomly everywhere and then I die cut them and I just make an evening of it and get a whole heap together because it doesn't take me long to go through some of these die cuts okay so that is hidden paper clip so same principle two different ones this one's just stamped on the back this one's got a label so they page they can go on the side on the top wherever you want them throughout the journal and last but not least we have the pocket so i have just used a misprint um five misprint five misprint So the like this this one hasn't um, print aligned on the back when I've tea stained the back of it. So this is a misprint which I will make a pocket out of. So just rip it. You don't want it as wide as a page would be um, ink what did I do with ink I might use a different colour this time let's use used let's use coffee That's where that ball pin went. Things disappear in this place and you find them in the weirdest places. Cheesecloth. Goodness me. Handy little tools, these silicon things, because when the glue dries, yeah, just peel it off. Unlike trying to. Oh, that was a bit dumb. Oh well. Never ever called myself smart. Okay, with that, we need a little bit of linen. This is the stuff I was talking about. It's a little bit like thin burlap but it's quite stiff I don't know what it's called I don't even remember where I got it but so 
So we're just layering this up. Feathers, feathers, feathers. Where's the feathers? Where are the feathers? Feathers. looking right at them and cannot find them. Feathers, feathers, vintage feathers, there they are. ones. way for a change beautiful Okay, so now we need something to stitch down.
No need to be neat, just get it to stay. little magnets up on my shelf in front of me that I stick my needles to so I never lose them frustrated crafter tip number 777 fat Fingers makes it hard to tie knots. Don't care that it's not. Um, Someone stick over that. Hmm. Nope. Maybe a label. Maybe a label. Alrighty, so we have made the pocket, we have made the hidden paper clip and we have made the dangle cluster thingies. That's it, so that's a pretty good effort so far so I'll be making more of these off page different pockets um, then we'll come back in and we'll put one of those signatures together decorated um, make a fabric cover for it I'm thinking maybe faux leather maybe maybe have to think about it maybe some upholstery fabric sample or something like that whatever it will be it will be rustic and grungy so that's it for today thanks for watching and we will see you next time bye bye